Time judge calls it the most touching statement he's heard. It came from a hardworking veteran whose life changed forever after he was struck by an addict driving high on heroin. That driver also had no license, no insurance, and today he learned his sentence. Deborah Dixon has the story that you will see only on Local 12. Matt Mansu was picking up food for his wife and two sons Super Bowl Sunday. Jerry Haney was driving high on heroin when he crossed the center lane on Three Rivers Parkway and slammed head on into Matt's car. Haney pleaded guilty to aggravated vehicular assault. Matt and wife Kelly were in court for his sentencing today. Both had something to say. The night you decided to get high and drive a car, as a result of your failure to be a responsible adult, my husband almost left this earth. Kelly talked about Matt's broken bones, surgeries, therapy, learning to walk again, not being able to work. He went back part time last week. Every morning he cries out as he struggles to get out of bed and he can't stand for long periods of time, which means we are unable to do many of the things we did before as a family. Then there are the medical bills, hundreds of thousands of dollars because Haney wasn't insured and the concussion that changed her husband. His cognitive skills are off. He doesn't think and speak the same way he did before the wreck. Matt talked about his sons. The autistic one is confused about why the families changed. Both came to the scene. The then eight-year-old can't forget what he saw. He was puking on the side of the road, seeing the damage and seeing me injured like I was. And my children were going to have to at some point see a therapist for psychological needs. Judge Patrick Dinkelocker called the statements touching. Visualize a nine-year-old, eight-year-old chicken at the side of the road makes me sick my stomach right now. The judge said he had to consider Haney's guilty plea, then sentenced him to four years in prison. During that time, this Air Force veteran will try to get better. I don't know if physically I'll be able to be the old Matthew, but I hope that I can get back my sense of humor and uh, be a little less guarded. Kelly told Haney in spite of the pain he's caused the family, they will stay strong. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. Haney apologized and said he prays for Matt every night. Haney's criminal history includes drug possession and several traffic violations, including driving under the influence.